The next Ethiopian Prime Minister, the 2020 election uncertainty analysis. Who will win the next election? In this uncertainty analysis, we've run a really huge and complex algorithm using Bayesian's approach and different artificial intelligence simulators to predict who would be the next Prime Minister in the 2020 Ethiopia election. Most of the data is taken from the 2019 census records. This stochastic discrete event analysis and artificial intelligence is as good as its data. The main variables used in the analysis are ethnicity, size of population mainly in the inner city, religion, political constituency, political awareness, access to social media, level of education, patriotism, press release and access to funds. These are the main variables considered in the analysis that could potentially skew the vote of the population. Data Overview Estimated Ethiopian population as of 2019 is 113,156,372. Demographics Oromo 43.8%, Amhara 21.2%, Somali 6.2%, Tigray 5.1%, Sadama 4%, Kurage 2.5%, Wileta 2.3%, Afar 1.7%. Hadia 1.7%, Gamo 1.5%, Harari and others, including Ago and Kamant, 10%. Religion 43% of the population are Muslims, 37% of the population are Orthodox Christians, and the remaining 20% are Catholic, Protestants, Wakefeta, and others. Population by major city and surrounding areas Addis Ababa Finfini, 7,823,645. Dir Dawa, 649,687. Mekele, 315,546. Adama, Nazareth, 513,995. Bahar Dar, 268,899. Gondar, 153,914. Dese, 136,056. Hawasa, 113,097. Jima, 228,306. Bishoftu, 104,215. Kambolcha, 93,605. Harar, 90,218. The analysis assumes a fair and free election will be conducted and that 100% of all the errors, bugs, the curse of dimensionality, and problems of overfitting of the machine learning programs are fixed. Methodology Bayesian Belief Network, BBN uses conditional probability, stochastic discrete event simulation, and other machine learning or artificial intelligence algorithms that have been implemented to complete the analysis. Based on the analysis, the probability that Mr. Juar will win the 2020 election, given the current ethnic demography, religious impact, population distribution, access to media and election campaign funds, and political constituency, is 62.35%. Whereas the probability that Abiy Ahmed will win the coming election, given the current ethnic demography, religious impact, population distribution, access to media and election campaign funds, and political constituency, is 37.3%. Based on the interviews we had from a sample population, over 90% of the Oromo, Somali, Sadama, Agu, Kamant, Southern Nation and Nationalities, Afar, and Tigran's population, and many more, regardless of religious background, will vote for Juar's approach of ethnic federalism, whereas over 90% of the Amhara population, predominantly Orthodox Christians and a few Oromos along the line, will vote for Dr. Abiy Ahmed. The sample interview data are within 95% confidence interval of the given mean population. Yet our research indicates that the skewedness of this probabilistic result will be highly affected by the so-called second charter cities of the country, like Dirdawa, which is a heavily populated city with predominantly Oromo and Somali and few Amhara in the inner city next to Addis Ababa, Finfini. Now the question is, what will happen if Juwar is elected and nominated as the Prime Minister of Ethiopia in 2020? Will Dr. Abiy really be ready to peacefully transfer power if he lost the election? Or will he embarrass his Nobel Peace Prize? <laughs>